So I'm going to take you out of this site at this point. And uh, when I get out of that, I'm, I'm going to go again back to a generic site. And um, because if I was, again, going to start a social business partner, then I would, again, go to exactly the same location. So in this example, C-E-L-L-A-B-R-A-T-E dot myalovea dot com. And that again goes to the same point of, way of, of sale website that I just showed you. But instead of clicking on shop, I'm gonna click on join us. And by clicking on join us, of course, it's gonna instantly take you to this screen right here. Uh, and you can of course become a preferred customer, which you can join just again as a customer. You can become an affiliate. Uh, and the only difference is there is you get no uh, expanded rewards. You're just able to buy and sell product. And of course, uh, the, here's where you purchase your membership to become a social business partner. Right there, we're gonna click. Again, it's gonna take you straight to uh, your location, United States, Canada, Japan, Australia, wherever you may, what country you reside in. From there, it'll take you straight to your products and you'll again, choose which products, just like I described to you, just exactly like a customer would choose. And for this example, uh, we're gonna choose the premium impact. Um, it seems again to be the most popular for two reasons. One, when you immediately attain 700 in, in volume in your personal position, you become instantly qualified as a team builder. And the explanation of that, we've. Uh, we get into a little more in detail in our 5K run at a later time. But now you've chosen this premium impact kit and you're gonna probably just choose that for a one-time purchase. And so from there, you're gonna, again, click continue shopping. Uh, but you know, right now you may not know what it is you would like to put back on automatic order because you're just gonna start with this big pack. And of course it's already discounted and it is not necessary to put it on automatic order. The reason I would encourage you to set up an automatic order on this date when you first register is because the uniqueness and simplicity of our system is that every fourth week from the day you get started and the following Friday, of course, complete your first week. But it, in a four week cycle, then you'll need to requalify your position. And if you don't start your automatic order immediately, when that four week cycle runs around, uh, you may end up not being qualified and not realizing how to you know, set it back up in time with your four week cycling. And that's okay. If you set it up now and you decide to do something different later, you can always change it well in advance. I just recommend it's best to set it up at the same time because it kind of gets your position synced up with your first cycle. And again, we run in four week cycles. We don't run month to month and we don't have 13 periods a year, meaning every four weeks we close a period. Your cycle of four weeks begins the day you get started. And 28 days from that day is completing your first cycle. And of course, if that's on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or even Thursday, that following Friday is the completion of your very first week. And the following Friday from there will be your second week. So you'll begin to understand that more as your, your business begins to grow and as it comes together on a week to week and month to month type of basis. So here you are and you've chosen a premium impact kit and you may go back in here right now and you're not really sure what it is that you may wanna put on automatic order, but just for the sake of example, you know, we'll choose the integrative support kit. And we'll, we'll just add that to FlexShip for now and we will check out. Now the very first screen it's gonna bring you to as a social business partner is to your SBP elite program. What is that? Basically your Standard back office gives you many options to look at your business and other things, but also uh, with each registration as a social business partner, you're receiving two bags of Hope Pops, which is the equivalent of about $40. So that being said right there, just being in your basic system, which is free to you every single month, you're getting the majority of things. As an SBP elite, you're getting an additional two bags of Hope Pops every single month, which is basically, um, Re replenishing the cost that you, you actually pay for it. It also gives, gives you the enhanced back office reporting. And as you lean forward, you may find reports that you're unable to look at simply because you're not part of the SBP elite program. Now I would recommend that you choose no, I will go it alone for the necessary support. Because first of all, this is free for you 
for the first 28 days. So at least you get a chance to really look into it. And some of the reports you may not use in their entirety or very much at all right now, but as you lean forward, as your business begins to grow, I believe they'll become more and more important. So from there, when you do that, it comes to you, brings you to the very first screen. Again, there we put in, you know, a, a name uh, for this example, John Doe. Uh, we're going to type in that same address again, John Doe at gmail dot, excuse me, dot com. And that email right there again is fictitious, but for the sake of example, we're going to use it. And uh, when I click continue, oops, I got the last name. When I click continue, uh, you're going to see that the first thing again it asks you for is that same email address. And now I'm not going to put in on the rest of this information, but you can see there's a box here that you didn't see before. And that is the social security or tax ID number. It's very important that you do use dashes like 448, 56, 1121. And that's of course fictitious, but you do are required to put those dashes in and then choose what type of tax ID. Is that an employer's EIN number uh, or is it in fact a social security number? In the US, that's the way we refer to our tax ID numbers. In other countries, it's more country specific as to the tax ID uh, information that they request. And again, you can look down here and see virtually all of the rest of it is exactly the same. But in the agreements, you see that there's many things that ask you like no claim statements. I agree to make no claims. Uh, you've read and understand the independent distributor application agreement. And these are basically boxes you check uh, to verify that you've really looked into what's going on here. And uh, a lot of times people do, and sometimes they don't. But um, right there, you can see where you can download it if you choose to look into it to get a little more in-depth information. At this last screen right here, you'll simply scroll through it and click continue. Again, if you do that and it's missed something you are required, you can see it brings you right back in red and tells you all the things that you're missing that need to be in, you know, put back in here. And you can see, of course, uh, virtually everything I didn't put in. If there's only one or two areas that were missing, uh, you'd see them highlighted in red. And the rest of them would not be lit up like this. So I just want you to see how simple this really is. And from the next screen, it takes you simply to the same screen we talked about to verify your information, to choose your shipping, and uh, basically uh, to make sure everything is in sync and ready to go. One thing I want to mention to those of you that are listening tonight, and if you've experienced this and you have gone into place an order, a lot of times when you get started, your credit card is, is logged into your back office and is held there as a primary card for you to make purchases and, and additional product, et cetera. But one thing I've experienced is that as you're checking out through the ordering process and you get to the last screen, if for whatever reason you choose to put in a different credit card, it's very important to go back into your back office and actually put it in your profile instead of trying to add a different card to the current order you're placing. Why? I uh, really don't have that answer, but the system seems to uh, reject it several times. We found that going back in and putting the new card in your profile, even as a secondary card, uh, then going back in and, and completing the order or replacing the order, uh, it'll go through usually just fine. So I just want people to be aware of a couple of those glitches. Right here on the right-hand side, you can see where it says gift card or coupon code. And that's where you would simply type in HOPE25 or of course on champion packs, it could be the HOPE50 discount. So you can see right there how it all comes together. And there's your summary on the right-hand side and your next screen of course will be just simply re-verifying, uh, choosing your shipping and then checking out. So that's the simplicity of really, you know, going through your back office and, and getting started and things of that nature. Um, and again, with any particular questions you may have, get with your upline because we all stumble just a little bit on this. And I know I did in the beginning. And the reason I encourage you to set up that automatic order in the beginning is for myself and Steve Burns helped me so much with this. It took me a good 60 to 90 days to fully understand the four week cycle process uh, simply because I didn't put an automatic order in and I kept finding myself every fourth week not qualified. And so I'd have to back up and place another order. And he showed me exactly what to do to correct that problem. So, you know, if you run into that, it's not a big deal and uh, you're not gonna really lose anything. One thing that is important, it is important to be qualified on a month to month and, and every four week basis. And the reason 
is as your business grows, you begin to add and bank volume. And uh, if you're not qualified, of course, that volume will, of course, go away. But it's important as it continues to grow that your larger team will bank volume that you don't want to lose out on. So uh, it's very important to keep that qualified on a regular four-week cycle. So I'm going to close this out right now. And um, I'm going to step right back over here to the website. 